قد جاءكم من الله نور وكتاب مبين. Magic? It's the only reasonable explanation. Well then, we must stop him from using his magic poetry against us. Abu Talib, we have the greatest respect for you. But time and again we have pleaded with you to stop your nephew's preaching. And you have done nothing. He's threatening the peace in Mecca. A few years ago, he brought peace to Mecca. You praise his wisdom then, Abu Shahab. Remember when the cover was being rebuilt? We were about to kill each other for the right to place the black stove. But Muhammad came and... The point is this! Abu Jahal, stop him or someone else will! Out! Do you want bloodshed and fighting among Quraysh? Out now! You can see my situation, Abu Talib. It's getting more and more difficult to keep the peace. Please... Talk with your nephew. For the peace of Mecca, I will talk to him. Mohammed, close the door and come in. Please, sit. Son of my brother, Quraysh demand that you stop your preaching. If you don't, I fear I cannot protect you. I am an old man, Mohammed. I cannot fight these people, my own neighbors, my own tribe. People we have known all our lives. Is what you preach so important, Mohammed, that you and I must die for it? That there must be bloodshed in the city? For the peace of Mecca, stop your preaching. This made Muhammad peace and blessing upon him. Very sad. But he answered, saying, If they put the sun in my right hand, and the moon in my left, I will not stop what I am doing. I will continue until either the word of God prevails, or I perish in the process. Mohammed, say and do what you please. This uncle will never abandon you. Not now, not as long as I live. I say we are Mohammed's clan, and we will stand by him and protect him. No matter what the cost. Why? Why must we become the enemy of Mecca? For one man! Because he is our nephew. And because he has done nothing wrong. Ha ah, ah. The great Hamza speaks. Good thing you're swift with the sword, brother. Because Muhammad's forcing you to use it. Well, I'm not dying for him. Just because he says he saw an angel. Muhammad continues to preach, despite all we do to him and his followers. Please stop him before he ruins everything. He's coming. He's praying. Infidels! I won't let you overthrow our gods! Heretic! How dare you walk away! Oh, Hamza, you're back. What is it? Ah, oh, but you all insulted your nephew. He said horrible things in front of the whole city. What did my nephew do? Nothing. He just walked away. <laughs> he tried praying here just this morning, but I drove him away. Um, ah, if you want to fight someone, fight me, you coward. 
How dare you insult Mohammed when I too am of his religion? No. I, I didn't know you followed Mohammed. I do now. it in every word you've spoken. That's why I can say this. There is no God but Allah, and you are his prophet. Punish them! This way! mind that. Deny Mohammed and confess the gods or die. Do it. No, no. Do it. Say it, mother. Tell them what they want to hear. Listen to your son, Sumaya. <laughs> Tell me truthfully, Ma, would you deny God and his prophet just to live? I... And Muhammad is his prophet. Do you mock me? Then those words shall be your last. No! The first martyrs of Islam. Poor Sumaya. Poor Yasser. Thank God, Amar lives. How is he? The Prophet is doing all he can to ease his pain. But he fears for our lives and says that those who can should go to Abyssinia. Abyssinia? It's ruled by a Christian king, a kind man, who might allow us to live there. And I've been asked to lead the group and I'll need some strong men to help me. Go, Malek. We'll be fine. A lot of ground to cover before they find out we're gone. They could be in Abyssinia by now! Tell Khalid to take some men and go after them. They must be brought back and punished so all will know that rebellion will not be tolerated in Mecca. yours. Now bless me for my generosity. Well, excellent work. I understand you know the Abyssinian king. I do, quite well as a matter of fact. Good. This is for him. Oh. You'll get your sh if you can convince him to turn the Moslems over to us. If anyone can do it, it is I. Ah, <laughs> it's good to see you again, Amir. All these gifts are for you. Your generosity is overwhelming. You deserve much more. 
I understand you are concerned about these few who have emigrated from your city. Rebels, sir. They stirred up trouble in our city, and they will do the same in yours. Let us do the favor of taking them from you. They seem peaceable enough to me. They have created a new religion which means to destroy all others. How do you answer? Dear King, bow to the King. We bow to no man, sir, only to our God. <laughs>